In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this stretched pixel effect on Affinity Photo for the iPad Pro. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you need uh, is of course Affinity Photo. You can always download it from the App Store and open it up. Right, now in Affinity Photo, you will have to first create uh, a new document so tap on the plus button and tap on the new document button here i will create a simple 1080 pixel by 1080 pixel social media graphic you can choose any size you want uh, here i will choose the units in pixels i'll head to the document type and i'll take the web and scroll down the document choices and look up social media square post Okay, you can change the resolution as well. It's uh, currently 144 dpi, but you can uh, scale it up. Just tap on it and move up and down to increase or decrease. Okay, so I'll just take it up to say 300 dpi. Okay, now once you're satisfied with your uh, choices, just tap on the OK button. The document will be ready. This is your workspace and here in Affinity Photo for iPad, uh, they have modes called personas that help you achieve certain aspects of the tool. So the default persona is of course uh, the photo persona, so Affinity Photo persona. Okay, and the second persona that we will also be using for this tutorial is the one right next to it. This is the selection persona. Okay, so these two are what we are going to use a lot today. Okay, now to get started with this tutorial, you will need an image. I've already downloaded a standard PNG file uh, from the internet. And if you don't have a PNG file, uh, you will have to basically make a selection and I will link you to a tutorial from Affinity itself on how you can make uh, good selections uh, on Affinity Photo for the iPad. Okay, so once your image is ready, just tap on this button here and tap on the place button and place from photos since my image is in my gallery and I have downloaded uh, a photo of uh, the popular striker onto on Griezmann right and the foot uh, the footy renders website is really useful if you want you know good quality uh, transparent background images of footballers I'll link that as well Okay, so once you've selected a photo, you'll see that it is not shown up. It is not showed up on the layer because you have to tap it once. So just tap it once and you will see that the image has appeared. Now, obviously it is too big for my canvas. So I'll have to scale it down. So I've scaled it down, perhaps a little more. Align it and there we go. Okay, I'm happy with this size. So once you're happy with it, just tap on the view tool the selection will be done. Now view tool allows you to uh, basically move your canvas around uh, to help you see better. Okay. Now with uh, this guy selected, now with this guy placed, right, tap on the layers option. With the layer selected, tap on this, the three dot button. Okay, tap on the rasterize and tap on rasterize image. Okay, now this image is rasterized. And for some reason, uh, only when you rasterize an image on Affinity Photo for the iPad, at least from my experience, you are able to do this effect. Okay, so make sure you rasterize your image once you place it. You can make this go away if you want. We don't need it anymore, at least for the time being. Okay. Now, next thing we need to do is, of course, the pixel stretch. Now, the pixel stretch is possible when you basically select the pixels that you want to stretch. Now, obviously, selecting individual pixels manually uh, it's going to take you maybe months or years or maybe a lifetime. So Affinity has uh, given you some assistance in that respect. So to access those options, we will switch to the selection persona. Now here you have a very useful option. Uh, here that's the rectangular marquee tool. Now if you tap on the little arrow next to it, you'll see these options. So we have the row marquee tool and the column marquee tool. Okay. Now since we want uh, a column of pixels to be selected, I will choose the column marquee tool. Tap once on the workspace and without releasing the pencil, just drag until you see uh, the column marquee tool select a good enough range of colors on the subject. Now here, as you can see, we have 
multiple colors going on in this image, right? So we have his skin color, right? A bit of his head is visible, but I'm not really concerned with that. I just need his skin color. And when it comes to his, his kit, right? We have the yellow color, the red, the blue, white, yellows, right? Uh, the shorts are blue, right? The socks are again red and blue. Uh, his shoes, of course, they do have a, a sort of teal color, but it's not really clear right now. So I don't necessarily want that in, in my pixel stretch effect at the moment. Okay. So I have dragged the column marquee tool to uh, a location where, you know, most of these colors are selected uh, by this, this thin little column. Now it's also selecting the white areas above and below the image, as well as the white areas uh, in the in the middle, right, right above his shoe and uh, between his sock. Right. So I don't want those regions. So what I will do is I will tap on the selection tools again, choose a rectangular marquee tool, and at the bottom in the mode, right, you have modes that's intersect mode, new mode, add, and subtract. So make sure it's on subtract, and just make a selection. And you'll see that the column is now getting truncated, truncated to as much as you want. So I'm just going to take it right inside his sock. And on the top, I'm just going to make sure it is inside his face. Okay. So now I have a color selection or a selection of pixels that cover his face color, the yellow of his collar, the red, the white, uh, the blue on the shirt, the blue on this uh, shorts, uh, his leg, and the red and blue of his socks, which is basically all the colors that he has uh, in this image. Okay. Now, the interesting part is to isolate this selection because see, we can always uh, ignore it and, you know, step out of selection mode and stretch these pixels out. But the problem is when you want to apply that sort of circular effect, the whole image will get uh, get that effect. So the image of Griezmann as well will enter that circle. We don't want it. We just want the stretched pixels to get that effect, right? So what I'm going to do is with this layer selected, right? I'm going to head to uh, the photo persona. Okay. Tap on the move tool, right? And the three dot button once again, tap on duplicate selection. Now you will see a new layer is created, right? but you can't see anything in the thumbnail now because they are basically, this column is just full of one pixel. Okay. One pixel per row until it forms that big column of selection. Okay. Now, once we stretch them out, you will see uh, what I'm talking about. Now to stretch it out, uh, there's this, the more, there's this modifier button here, right in the middle, this one. Yeah, this one. So just move it move the selection to, to where you want, right? And stretch it out. Okay. Now make sure you uh, are stretching it only to the, uh, to the edge, right? Don't exceed it. it. That sort of messes up the effect. Okay. Stretch this as well. Uh, you can now, um, you know, resize it. I want to make sure that he's completely covered in these stretched pixels. And you can just tap on the move tool but you'll see that the selection is still active, right? So head to the selection persona, the three dot button and deselect. Okay. So this is your stretched pixel effect and you'll see that promptly it appears in the thumbnail of the new layer as well. Okay. Now this stretched if, uh, pixel effect is ready and now it's completely up to you how you want to style it. Now I will show you a few options uh, that I myself uh, use. So what I'll do is I'll long press uh, the Griezmann layer and move it up. Okay. And I will head back to the photo persona, uh, the move tool. And what I will do is I will move him uh, to this side. Okay. So we have, uh, we have an effect going on where, you know, he's running and these stretch pixels are basically uh, us give you a sense of motion, but I don't want it in front of him. Okay. So I'll just select this pixel, the stretched pixel layer, the eraser brush tool, and just erase uh, the region in front of him. Okay. Now, if the, if the brush is too small for you, you can head down here and tap on the width button and increase it. Just slide left or right, right to increase, left to decrease. So I'm just going to increase it a little bit 
and you will see that I get a better erase effect, right? That's it. Here we go. So this is one way of doing it. Okay. But what if you just want that base, the circle effect that I showed you earlier. Okay. So for that, what I will do is I will make the Griezmann layer invisible, select the pixel stretch layer, tap on this funnel button. Okay. Now in this add filter column, just tap on these arrows until you see distortions. Scroll down until you see the rectangular to polar option. So just select the rectangular to polar option and there we go. Now tap on the layers uh, button, make Griezmann visible again and your stretch pixel effect is ready. Uh, one more uh, way, one more style that I would want to show you is simple. You just need to have the Griezmann layer selected. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to resize him until he basically reaches uh, the absolute edges of, of this uh, stretched pixel circle. Okay. Uh, his position is perfect for me. I may just move him a bit to the left. Okay. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So now once I am, once I'm satisfied with the positioning, I will just head to uh, the stretched pixel layer, take the erase brush tool and I'll just erase in front of him or behind him. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, now, since he's moving uh, towards my right, I want the motion uh, effect to basically reflect on his left. So behind him. Okay. That's why I have done this. Now I'm satisfied with this. Now all it needs is a suitable background. Okay. So within the photo persona, we have the rectangle tool, right? Uh, choose a rectangle tool in the color options. You can choose a color. I'm going to choose black. And now I'm just going to simply create a square. Okay. But where did the stretch pixels go? Well, don't worry. It's still there. It's just that the rectangle was created below the previously selected layer. So since my Griezmann layer was selected, the rectangle was created below it. Okay. So all you have to do is either move the rectangle below the stretch pixel or move the stretch pixel above, right? Same thing. And as you can see, I really like this effect. Right. We have a good black that's accentuating the blues and the reds and also the, the color of his skin. Right. It's, it's cool. It's cool. So if you're happy with this, you can uh, always add in your signature uh, your name, whatever. And if you want to export it, just tap on the file button and you can tap on export. Uh, choose the type. Uh, so I would like to save it as a JPEG, but you can also save it as a PSD. So what this does is it creates a Photoshop file uh, with all the layers that you created and you can then import it into Photoshop and do uh, some extra editing if you want to. But for now, I just want a JPEG. So I'm just going to choose JPEG. You can select a file name over here. And once you're happy, just tap on OK. Uh, choose where you want to save it tap save and you're done. So that was it for the tutorial. I hope you liked it and do let me know if you've tried it out.